Okay, this is the circulatory system of our frog. This is our heart. We exit the heart via the truncus arteriosus, leads into the systemic arches, which curves around the heart on both sides. But before going down the systemic arch, it has an option to go into the common carotids, which lead into the upper portion of the body, the head. So down the systemic arches, we come down here and we have two options. We either go into our uh, celiacomesenteric, which leads into the gut, and, 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 and go? another, uh, and the gut, basically we're gonna go into uh, our stomach, intestines, and all of those digestive systems uh, via, including the liver, via the hepatic portal. And when it's done, well, it goes into the gut, and then it goes into the liver via the hepatic portal. Which is right in... Which is... Where are you? I can't see. Which we can't see. It's right here. Oh, it's where it's there. like not separating here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's right in here. Right in there. That's the, that's the hepatic portal into the liver. Mm -hmm. Once it goes through the liver, it goes back into the in, uh, the posterior vena cava. Uh, vena cava. Uh, and, and, and then it, and it continues on, but we'll get into that in a moment. But if we <laughs> bypass this celiocomesenteric and we continue down our abdominal aorta, it will lead into our common iliacs, which in turn lead into the legs. When it's done processing through the legs, it will collect the toxins that it accumulated back into the common iliac and then into the kidney via the uh, renal, renal portal. portal. When it exits the renal portal via the renal vein, it will circulate back around into the posterior vena cava, which goes into the right atria. The right atria goes into the ventricle and the ventricle leads back into the truncus arteriosus, which can uh, uh, Start which starts the processes <laughs> all over again. Sweet, very good. And that is the circulatory system of the frog. And you're blurry.